Hello students. Today we discuss about sixth year group of elements, and this is belongs to second year students. The topic is preparation of preparation of ozone. It is indicated as a O3 ozone. That is O3. When cool and dry air is passed into the dry electric uh, discharge. Electric discharge, some amount of oxygen converted into ozone. The formation of ozone is endothermic reaction. O2 gives rise to O3. Here, O2 gives rise to O3. Three moles of three O2, two moles of O3. Electric discharge. Silent electric discharge. When cool and dry oxygen pass into the silent, silent electric discharge, some amount of oxygen convert into O3. The formation of O3 is endothermic reaction. Delta H is equal to 142 kilo calories. Kilo joules per mole. Kilo joules per mole. So ozone preparation. Next one is properties. Properties. Ozone acts as a optical oxidizing agent. Ozone gives rise to O2 plus nascent oxygen. It acts as a bleaching agent. O3 to gives rise to O2 plus nascent oxygen. Nascent oxygen. It acts as a bleaching agent due to losing of atom of the nascent oxygen. Nascent. Nascent oxygen. Nascent oxygen. Nascent oxygen. Next, uh, oxidizing properties. First of all, it oxidizes. It it means ozone. It oxidizes lead sulfide to lead sulfate. Lead sulfide PBS, lead sulfate PbSO4. So, according to stoichiometric equation, O3 gives rise to O2 plus nascent oxygen. Lead sulfide, lead sulfide means PBS plus oxygen, that is nascent oxygen. Gives rise to PBS for four. Okay, so let's PBS for four. Here is the four moles of here four moles of oxygen, nascent oxygen, four oxygens, four O three, four O two. Here nascent oxygen, nascent oxygen is four cancel on both sides. Clear? Then we should write PBS. Plus four moles of O3 giving rise to remaining part that is PbSO4 PbSO4 plus four moles of oxygen. Clear students? Lead sulfide, lead sulfide plus O3 gives rise to four moles giving rise to lead sulfate plus four moles of oxygen. Simply say that ozone oxidizes lead sulfide to lead sulfate. Lead sulfide to lead sulfate. Next, silver plus O3 gives rise to Ag2O plus O2. Here O3 oxygen is two plus one, three, and two moles of silver. 
silver to silver oxide it oxidizes silver to silver oxide next moisture potassium iodide oxidizes to iodine moisture nothing but with including of water plus ozone gives rise to iodine plus KOH plus water so KOH plus oxygen here two moles of potassium iodide two moles of potassium hydroxide oxidation state of iodine in potassium iodide is minus 1 and it is 0 minus 1 to 0 oxidation minus 1 to 0 oxidation potassium iodide to iodine here silver to silver here sulfur to sulfur minus 2 PBS is minus 2 minus 2 is PB plus 2 minus 8 minus 8 plus 2 minus 6 is plus 6 minus 3 to plus 6 is oxidation ok students next most most important tailing of mercury tailing of mercury HET plus O3 gives rise to HEG 2O plus oxygen. Here are 2 moles of HEG. Mercurous acid. Sorry, mercur mercurous oxide. What is that? Mercurous. Mercurous oxide. HG plus O3 gives rise to HG2O plus O2. Tailing of sorry, tailing of mercury. When ozone, ozone gas pass into the mercury, mercury it loses meniscus and looster. Lastly, it's sticking of the walls of the glass tube. So such type of phenomenon is called as telling of mercury due to formation of mercurous oxide. Once again, when ozone pass into the mercury, mercury loses its meniscus, meniscus and a loose term. meniscus Looster meniscus looster and sticking of the walls of the glass tube. So, such type of phenomenon is called as tailing of mercury due to formation of mercury oxide. However, however, meniscus can be regenerated, meniscus can be regenerated by using of water meniscus can be regenerated by shaking of the HG2O with water to get original property of a mercury this is about tearing of mercury most most important next one ozone analysis ozone analysis Unsaturated hydrocarbons. Unsaturated hydrocarbons nothing but alkenes and alkynes. Double bond and triple bond compounds. They are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Addition with ozone to give ozonides. They are ozonides. They are ozonides. Ozonides undergoes reduction. Generated by H2O to give 
carbonyl compounds. What is meant by carbonyl compounds? The compounds in C double bond group. Okay, C double bond group of uh, compounds are called as carbonyl compounds. So both these steps are called as osmolysis. First point, CH2 double bond CH2 plus ozone gives rise to hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. Carbon valency 1, 2, 3, 4. Carbon valency 1, 2, 3, 4. Clear students? So it is ethylene. Ethylene plus ozone gives rise to ethylene ozonoid. Ethylene ozonoid undergoes reduction. Jaren by H2O. It is split into two ways. It is split into two ways. H C O H. H C O H. That means two hydrogens, one carbon, one oxygen. Two hydrogens, one carbon, one oxygen. So that is formally high. H C double bond O hydrogen. How many ones? Two ones. H C H L H C C double bond O hydrogen. H C double bond O hydrogen. H C double bond O hydrogen. Then remaining oxygen combined with the water, we get H two O two. H two O two that is hydrogen peroxide. So this is our ozone analysis. First of all, preparation of ozone. And next one is properties of ozone. Next one, uses. First one, ozone is used as a germicide. Is that germicide? Germicide and disinfectant. Disinfect. Germicide and disinfect. Second one, sterilization. Sterilization of water. Sterilization of water. Next, it acts as a bleaching agent. What is that? It acts as a bleaching agent. O3 gives us to O2 plus oxygen. That is nascent oxygen. Next. Act as a oxidizing oxidizing agent. So these are uses of ozone. Thank you.